In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to hook up GitHub to your Bolt.new project. Hooking your web app to GitHub will allow you to actually own your code and assets, and if you so choose to use it elsewhere, whether it be Cursor or Windsurf, you'll be able to clone your entire Bolt project, and anything you do outside of Bolt will be synced into Bolt because it'll be all pointing towards your GitHub repository. Now, if you don't even know what GitHub is, it's basically a way for you to maintain your code and do a lot of other actions in development that makes it helpful and more scalable to not only build the app, but to maintain it moving forward. So examples of different actions you can do include saving code, seeing version history that you can always roll back to, you can collaborate with other members of your team, doing what's called branching, where every single person on your team can work on a different branch of the overall tree of your project, and once they're ready and you approve those changes, you can actually merge them back into the main project. So it also gives you the ability to test things out in a demo environment before actually committing it to your Bolt project in production. Now the second last feature called tracking tasks allows you to pretty much create what's called a pull request, which is basically asking for permission or review of a certain piece of code before it actually ends up in your app. So the more you get in tune with working with GitHub, the more powerful you realize it is for managing your project beyond just version history, but building on it well after you've started it in Bolt.new. Now let's take a look at actually integrating it into a Bolt.new app. So in this case, I asked Bolt to do the following. Create an app that allows me to keep track of every exercise that I did today. I can select it from a right hand panel and bring it onto my screen and click on foods with default calorie amounts that add up to some calculator on a screen with 2000 calories to show how many I've gone through and how many I have left. The different exercises should have calorie burning defaults that reduce from the final amount as well. So within two to three minutes, we got something that looks like this, where you have an overall calculator at the very top out of 2000 calories. And if you add different things, let's say running, cycling, swimming, let's say you're very, very active, you can see this is how much you've burnt, you're in a deficit, but if you go and add all of these foods here, and I think you can click them more than once, so I think, there you go, yeah, you can add three chicken, you can keep going, and you'll see that this is going to sync in tandem. So out of the box, what if we wanted to take the underlying code that lives in Bolt right here, and own the code ourselves in our own repository? The very first step for you would be to actually set up a GitHub account. And you can do that by going to github.com. So if I open an incognito window here and I go to github.com and you're going in for the first time, you're going to want to sign up for an account. It's completely free to sign up. And once you do and go through the credential process, what you can do in Bolt is go into integrations right here and select GitHub. Once you do that, it's going to ask you to name this repository. So in this case, let's call it calorie counter. And we'll click on create repository. Within seconds, you'll see that you've successfully created that repository and it tells you to start building. Now, if you look at the right hand side of your screen, you'll see this GitHub icon that when you click on it, you'll be able to see that all your code is now synced to GitHub. This is the name of your active main tree, your main branch. And then if you want to go and take a look at the repository, you can click on this and it will show you all the underlying code that's currently in bolt.new so you can see all the underlying files that make up our actual app. And if you want to take this elsewhere, let's say like I said, cursor or windsurf or any form of additional tool, you can click right here on code and then you can do what's called a git clone where taking this URL and cloning it elsewhere will allow you to see the exact same app with the exact same code and manipulate it. And so long as that is pointing to this GitHub repository, any change you make there should also show up in Bolt.new since they're both pointing to the main repository for all the assets. 